Matimba. All power. Thank you very much. Uh, program director. Honorable Premier. May Sisin Tombella. Deputy Minister of uh, Defense and Military Veterans, Ntate Tabang Makwetla, all MECs that are in our midst, our DGs, the DG of uh, Military, I mean the Department of Military Veterans, and the DG of the province, all our HOTs that are here. Thank you very much for joining us. Our military veterans, good to see your face. How are you? How are you? I'm happy to see you. Chabli Lugunborn. Premier, I'm very honored and uh, privileged, happy to be amongst yourself, and happy to be in the province of the Free State. I take this gathering as a very important gathering where we are going to discuss about the plight of our military veterans. This is a very good opportunity so that we come closer to the issues that affect our military veterans. I'm also encouraged about the people that are here except the military veterans themselves. I'm happy about the presence of the province, led by the Premier, uh, the Mayor who welcomed us here, the Department of Military Veterans, the Deputy Minister here, this is the best gathering that will serve the best interests of our military veterans. Now, I, I can confirm, Premier, that uh, the participation of our municipalities is very important. Um, you'll find a way to design a program in the province that will bring together all our municipalities so that they can also participate in the issues that affect our military veterans. You will be aware that each and every military veteran is from a local municipality. There are local issues, there are local services that must accrue to the military veterans that comes from your municipalities. So the missing link will be good that uh, through the Premier's Coordinating Forum we can bring together our municipalities. But more importantly, I'm happy that uh, finally I found an opportunity to interact with military veterans, to hear for myself how you are doing on a daily basis. I want you to share those experiences with us here. 
You will be aware that uh, we have been assigned by the President. This task team has been appointed by the President, President to look at all issues that affects military veterans. This came about when a few military veterans, associations, individuals marched to the office of the president. Then the president decided to constitute this team. In this team, it's myself who's leading the team. I'm with uh, the minister in the presidency, Minister Kungubele. I'm with the Minister of Defense, May Tandimodise. I'm with the Minister, Deputy Minister of Defense, Ndate Chabang We are supported by the Department of Military Veterans. Now, there's a lot of work that we've done. But beyond working in our offices, we've met military veterans. This is the fifth province that I'm visiting. We're making progress. Of course, I'm not happy about the pace that we we are taking the speed at which we are moving, and I'm sure as we go, we're going to pick up the pace. We're going to move a bit faster. And we'll therefore call upon military veterans of all associations to work together with us. And I can assure you there is a clear determination from our side to deal with the issues. We respect you. We honor you. As a country, we cannot afford to forget the history where we come from. We cannot afford to forget the role that you have played in the liberation of this country. So this task team has accepted this task from the president and we are determined just to do what the president has sent us to do. We are not going to disappoint the Honorable President. As we do our work as the task team, we are undated with stories. We hear a lot of stories about your suffering. We know, we hear a lot of stories about the suffering of your dependents, your children, who are supposed to benefit. Please bear with us, we are here, brick by brick, step by step, we are going to resolve your challenges. I must single out the province of the Free State and the Honorable Premier here about the work they've done in trying to assist military veterans. Premier, thank you very much for all the steps that you've taken. It's quite encouraging.
to see the province of the free state. I heard this in the province of the Eastern Cape. They're also doing very well. The province of Gauteng, they're also doing very well. So, Premier, we want to have a permanent relationship with yourself. The Department of Military Veterans will have a permanent relationship with the Office of the Premier. We are going to work together as we resolve your problem. By talking to the Premier, you are talking to us. You are talking to everyone. We are going to improve our institutional arrangement so that the Department of Military Veterans works together with the province and work together with municipalities. As we plan, municipalities will know what we have planned for military veterans. The province will know and also plan for military veterans as much as the Department of Military Veterans will also plan and work together with our provinces. This is going to happen. The mere effect of us coming here is to cement that relationship, is to try and encourage the Premier to say, work with us. When we were having a briefing session this morning, the Premier was saying, well, we're doing all these things, but remember, David President, it is not our responsibility. It is the responsibility of the Department of Military Veterans. Yes, Premier, I know, I understand. But we still want to encourage you to work with us and put money aside continue and build houses for our military veterans, continue and assist them, give them bursaries in your office, continue to assist them when they are ill, they are beneficiaries, their children must be assisted. We are going to join hands with you to assist our military veterans. The stories that we hear about your sufferings, this cannot be allowed to persist. This cannot be allowed to continue. There are benefits that have been outlined in the Act that are due to you. But this act, we thought it must be amended so that it includes everything. Now, you must find time and contribute to those amendments and say how this act should look like, because it is your act. So these issues, these benefits that are outlined in the Act, we must try very hard to ensure that we deliver these benefits. And even beyond the amendment of the Act, we must try very hard. And I can assure you that we will succeed. It's unfortunate that we have lost some of our cadres, we have lost some of our military veterans, in the process while still trying to improve the services that must accrue to yourself. It is also our duty and uh, our commitment 
to try and improve the workings of the Department of Military Veterans. The department must try and up its game. Very important. There is no room for us to fail here. We will work with the necessary speed and vigor with all the stakeholders, with all the spheres of government to ensure that the quality of services that you get from us is of good standard. The Department of Military Veterans will be beefed up and supported to be able to deliver the services that you require. Now, in the task team, in the task team we sought to broaden the scope of our work. We have created a number of work streams, which I'm sure the DG of military veterans will talk about. But we have just spoken with the Premier that in all those work streams, we are appealing for the participation of the province. The province must be represented. We are talking about work streams that will be looking at your economic issues. The province must participate. We are talking about work streams that will be looking at your health benefits, looking at your housing benefits. The province must participate so that together we can share notes and we can share resources that will quickly help our military veterans. There's a very important work stream that deals with the verification of all our military veterans. We request that you support this process because the sooner we get done with the verification, the better for all of us. We want to know how many military veterans are in the Free State Province. And we can only do that, know that, if we allow the verification process to happen. If you are not happy about the verification process, we have created a space for an appeal. We are setting an appeal board so that you get satisfied with the verification uh, the process. We want to know how many from your good selves from the statutory forces and how many are from the non-statutory forces. We want to know how many have received benefits and how many have not received these benefits. We want to know how many of your children are receiving the education support or your health support, that we must know. So that where we lagging behind, we must improve. Those that have not received these benefits must start receiving these benefits. Premier was talking about a number of you that have received housing. We need to know how many have been housed, how many are still outstanding, so that we can quickly budget for those 
and be able to help you. Yes, Premier, uh, we must acknowledge the fact that we have received the memorandum that has been sent by your office to us. And I'm happy that uh, there is a process in place that seeks to address these well-articulated grievances in that memorandum. One of the issues raised in the memorandum relates to the welfare of widows and orphans of our military veterans. Incidentally, the Presidential Task Team has also received a letter about this same matter from one of the military veterans. In a typical selfless posture, Ms. Mami Nyatel wrote to us about this matters, and Mami also volunteered to give his time and support to the Department of Military Veterans to get these challenges resolved. I want to thank Comrade Mami Nyatel, who wrote to us in a very comradely spirit. And I want to assure her that uh, we are going to open our hands, we are going to work with Comrade Mami. And I want Comrade Mami to present herself to the office of the Premier so that he can try and help the process. Some of the issues raised in the memorandum, the office of the Premier is already dealing with some, and some are dealt with by the Department of Military Veterans. As we proceed with all these processes trying to deliver on the services that you should be receiving, we want to request all of you to strengthen your associations, your structures, because I'm aware that the the mandate of SANVA, the current structure, has long expired. Am I wrong? No. Majege, this leadership of SANVA that is currently sitting in office, Abanga Abi Ama traditional leaders. A traditional leader is not elected, it's born a leader. So our Agapu Mestulinsak, Upuma Nguta Shaw, Bayeganina, Ninenketi Wella, when a term of office, Yapela, you must go again to a conference, we elect other people. I think we must do that. As I conclude, I want to call on all of us, national government, represented by us, the province represented by the Premier, and all our municipalities to always remember that the plight of our military veterans and their families their prospects of ever enjoying the fruits of our freedom that they helped to bring about lies on our co commitment and our courage to support them. And we commit that we are going to walk this journey with yourself.
and we're going to move a bit faster. Thank you very much. Thank you.